Day two of our Ultimate Gaming Machine has arrived this week. We're building Ugham 8.0. Today we're talking, well, the rest of the hardware inside the box. Tomorrow we're going outside the box mm -hmm. for the peripherals. Friday, we're we'll doing monitors and the big one, system tweaking, how to, like, Squeeze the last all the, the bio performance. settings and everything that you ever want to know. Bio setting, operating system settings, and you know we don't want to tell me yeah. about that. And then Tuesday next week we're going to do our benchmarks. Yesterday we showed you our processor, our case, our motherboard, our cooling, and the power supply. And you've got to find the list of parts of the, the list of those parts are actually up on our website, mm -hmm. screensavers.com. Indeed. Today, well, you know what? I'm not going to tell you what we're going to look at. I'm going to show you what we're actually Let's looking at. We're going to hit the graphics card out of the way first. Take a look at that, folks. Oh. ATI Radeon 9800 XT. Now, I can build you a gaming system for the cost of this card. It's about $450, depending on where you buy it. I've seen it as high as nearly $500 retail on brick-and-mortar stores. But the, basically, the one thing you have to say about this card, though, is tell them how much that card weighs. It weighs about 94 pounds. <laughs> it actually weighs about three-quarters of a pound because look it's at that. crazy. Giant copper heat sink on the back. Giant copper heat sink and a fan on the front. Amazing Maybe. card. Yeah, it's, it's like lifting up a BMW. You know what I mean? You, you feel Yes, you can just feel the quality in the There's car. A, yeah, either that or a lot of copper inside the car. Nonetheless, we went to the lab. We asked for the fastest graphics card we can get, and this is it, the 9800 XT, at least until the next round of chips come out. Yep. At which point we'll be ready for Ugham 8 point something. Yes. We didn't talk about memory yesterday. We were, we were trying to, like, we were like, yeah, Motherboard can handle 4 gigabytes, but you know what? We went a little small. It's the most restrained thing on Ugham. Yoshi pointed something out. You got the lowest cast latency on the memory from here. We've got TwinX, basically 1 gigabyte of TwinX match, 512 megabyte sticks, the 3200 LL Pro. Cost about three hundred dollars. Now you can't really see them there, but when the system, you hate this, when the I system's hate this. running, there's lights showing that there's basically. Activity. It seems a little gimmicky to me. See, so those are little LEDs right there, right. and they flash every time the RAM is being read. But like, who really needs that? The nice thing about this though is they have massive heat sinks on these. That is nice. And basically, this is the fastest memory we're going to be able to put in our system. So it's going to be interesting to see what we get. Now we went with a gigabyte. People were like, you need like three gigabytes, dude. But the truth is, is after five hundred twelve megabytes to a gigabyte, it's really hard to get more men of men like. Yeah. More benefit out of more memory right. for video games. Hard, hard drives. drives. Robert Heron says hard drives are the storage is the bane of his existence on the PC. So we kind of teed off on this. Actually, you know what? We're going to show these in a second. Take a look inside of the case. Now, this is our secondary. Our storage drive is basically a Caviar WD, excuse me, the Caviar Digital, Western Digital SE. 250 gigabytes. Oh, you can't really see that. Let me poke it back there. Right in there, we got 250 gigabytes of storage. It's going to be our storage for basically installing all of our files and anything else we put on there. The main puppies, though, are check these out. Western Digital 7, WD740s. These are Raptors. These are 10,000 yes. RPM drives. Basically, the fastest SATA drive you can get. They're not SCSI drives. Now, the fastest spindle speed you can find is 15,000 RPM, but these 10,000 RPM drives pretty much outperform them, and they're quieter. It's, it's an amazing, amazing drive. They're up to 74 gigabytes. I love that drive. In fact, you know, we get all emails all the time. Right. What kind of hardware do you guys buy? Right. This is the next thing on my list. No doubt about it. These drives are amazingly fast. I've seen nothing but amazing reviews about these drives. They're just love awesome. Them. Now, we put a CDRW drive in there because, hey, we're going to be ripping MP3s on this system, and you really can't get much faster than this one. Check it out. $35, folks. It's a light on 52X drive. We're kind of wondering if it's so cheap because it's so short. I don't know if you can see that at home, but look at that next to a regular full-size DVD drive. Basically, CDRW drive, we're going to be using that for pulling and ripping, and it's super fast. Speaking of super fast, check this out. Now, you got some comments on this one. Plus yeah. Store's PX708A. It's an 8X DVD plus R burner, which means if you can get the media, you can burn a disc in eight minutes. That's the only problem, though, is it's hard to find 8 by media right now. Head down to CompUSA, right. Best Buy, those stores, you won't be able to find it. Not yet, anyway. But the drives are out, so you're kind of like, should right. I spend the money? Or? we got to call Plex Store yeah. up and see what they say about yeah, that. definitely. One last thing before we Sound. go, audio. Now, now, my question to you is right. this. Real quick. On the motherboard, I noticed there's optical out. Looks like there's 5.1 out of the back there. Tell me, do we need to spend the extra money on additional audio? Well, this is the ultimate gaming machine. What happens when you're doing with, with audio on the motherboard is you generally lose a few frame, frame rate, basically you drop down the game speed a smidge, so we're going to get a little more game speed by going with a separate card. Right. And we've got a little more options on the audio we're pulling by going with a separate card. So me, I use onboard audio at home, but this so is Ugham, so we're going a little more extreme. Yeah. In this case, with the Audity, Audigy, boy, that's a tough word to say. Audigy 2 ZS Platinum Pro. 
Joshua Brentano, our uh, producer on this one, our gaming maven, loves this, and he also loves that external box. They were, you know, you normally you might not need this for gaming, but you know what? We love knobs and we love extra ports, and this is the way to go to get those. Yeah, you get FireWire on here. You also get optical and everything that you need. This is a yeah. nice little add-on. And now, one. you know, our complaint with Creative has always been the drivers are too invasive. Yoshi gave me a hot tip. You install the drivers off the Windows XP install disk, and then you do an update off of the driver. That way mm. you don't have to deal with all of the extra stuff. The creative library. That's smart that. because I always Good feel that like pop-up stuff and all the stuff Creative puts right. on there, all those third-party apps. Don't need and, a, yeah, I don't need a yeah. splash screen when I'm starting my system. <laughs> Folks, we got a whole list of these parts and yesterday's parts, all the hardware we're putting in Ugum up at thescreensavers.com.